iPhone 4. Where is the iPhone 4? I need an iPhone 4. iPhone 4. Where is the iPhone 4? I need an iPhone 4. Here, we have another MacBook. This looks like a MacBook Air. Seems to have water sprinkled everywhere. Let's see what this does. Now, as usual, I'm going to unplug the battery. I don't want to see how many amps the board is taking while attempting to charge the battery. I want to see how many amps the board is taking by itself. So I'm going to reset my power supply to 18 volts so it, it pretends it's a MagSafe. I'm going to remove this staple that's in the DC inboard. Oh my god. This is like, there's a staple! What? Look at that! Staple! Who put a staple in there? My god! What do you people do to your MacBooks? Anyway... Plug it in. It looks like it's drawing 700 amps and the fan is spinning. This looks like another user who has mistaken their MacBook Air screen for a touch screen. This is not a touch screen, by the way. If you touch it, you will not get response out of it. Here we go. It looks like it's trying to turn on. Remember, this is an 820-3437 board, so it's going to turn on, off, on, off, on, off, on. This is not lighting up the screen. It's not getting a picture on the screen. Further, the fan is spinning as it only takes 100 milliamps, which means the CPU is most likely not turning on. If the CPU were turning on, it would not be taking only 100 milliamps. So this is a very strange MacBook. The DC in connector is actually quite gross already. Yeah, if you can see that. Ugh. That's that's nasty. Alright, let's see if this board can come out of the case. That's that's the sound you want to hear. Ugh. Ew. Actually, not as bad as I thought. All right, so we have this corrosion over here. Now, remember, this corrosion over here is just going to be for the DC inboard's green light. That's why we didn't get a light in the charger. But we still should be getting an image. Even if we don't get a backlight, we should be getting an image with that being corroded. So that that's, that's strange. And now if we go over here, there's minor corrosion by the, the keyboard backlight area. I don't care about that. There's corrosion by the CPU, not CPU, by the screen backlight area. I don't really care about that. And the bottom of the board is surprisingly clean. Like, this is the BIOS and the clock area that Paul Daniels said would be the problem. It's not the problem. Paul Daniels is always wrong. And if we look over here by the CPU area, nothing. Now, I thought that there was going to be stuff in the CPU vCore area, because it was turning on, had no brain, and it wasn't drawing enough power to power the CPU. And it seems that I'm actually even more wrong than Paul Daniels, because the CPU vCore area, right over here, looks totally fine. There's nothing wrong with this area. This looks as good as can be. So, yeah, I, I really... Hmm. Now, we've got a little bit of corrosion by the Alsys power good area, but that's not... I mean, that would keep us from turning on. And we are... It, it is turning on, so that's not... That's not part of the story here. So this is one of those boards where I'm going to put it in the ultrasonic cleaner and pray that the ultrasonic cleaner fixes it. The, one of the reasons that we're probably not getting uh, anything starting up with the CPU is there could be some stickiness or general corrosion under the CPU that's keeping it from turning on and doing what it's supposed to. And when you see this type of stuff here, like this type of general mess, let's see if I can get that focus on the camera. Like, see this? See this sticky stuff over here? like this sticky line. This is not bad over here, but if you get that under the CPU where you have a bunch of connections for the brain, that can be bad. So what I'm hoping is that the ultrasonic is going to fix that, and if it does, then this board will work again, and I'll feel slightly less stupid for having spent over a thousand dollars on a Crest ultrasonic cleaner. So I'm going to put this aside, I'm going to wait for the ultrasonic cleaner to heat up all the way, we're going to clean this and dry it off and see if that allows it to function, and if it does, then uh, I'll look slightly less stupid for always shilling the crest. We ultrasonically cleaned this MacBook Air to try to see if we could get the CPU to work. Let's see if that's done anything. Okay, this is going to... Uh, 3437, so it's going to turn on, off, on, off, on, off, on. MacBook.
and here we go. So check that out. So we had a MacBook that wasn't working at all, and it wasn't using the CPU wasn't getting used or turned on since it was only taking 80 milliamps or to 100 milliamps when it was turning on, and now it is working and even giving us a question mark folder on the screen. So it could use a little bit of touching up around the DC in connector, just because that area looks really nasty and probably won't conduct any electricity over to the DC in board. We will need that for it to be able to charge. So it looks like the ultrasonic cleaner just made me some money because I c there was no corrosion that I could pinpoint that would have had anything to do with that, and now it's fixed. I love when the ultrasonic cleaner makes me some money. Ultrasonic cleaners can be found on store.rossmangroup.com. By the way, we have ultrasonics that don't have boxes that you're welcome to pick up at the store. We'll give you a discount off of the website price if you're willing to take an ultrasonic without a box. I should let you know that. So if you are local to New York City, we got a couple of 1200s, P1200s, but either they just don't have boxes. I don't like replacing that connector outright, Paul. It's kind of a mess. It's scary. Hmm, I can't even really see where the pin is anymore. Is there still a pin in there? Wire jumper it. What else do you think we're doing? But I have to see the pin. And the pin appears to be pushed back in there, and there's no grabbing that thing. Especially now with these destroyed tweezers. Can I buy one without a box and ship it? No. That's the, how am I going to ship an ultrasonic cleaner without a box? No. No. You pick it up in person. That's the whole point of it not having a box. Run a wire to the daughter board. Miles is trying to get me to do the evil thing. That's the evil way to fix this. These tweezers are too fucked up for me to be able to grab anything inside there. Why can't I just grab that damn pin and bring it out? Pin, get out. All right, I guess there's no grabbing the pin and pulling it out. All right, so we got a wire, and we're gonna. I run that wire in there while well, hi hi fixes the salt in my Twitch chat. No, Mike, none at all. Okay, now I gotta try to get under there to the. Come on, give me more exposure than that. There we go.
I got a short, and this is a conical tip. Conical tips are worthless for removing shorts. Conical tips are useless for just about everything. I don't know why the hell I have a conical tip on this iron. I never had a conical tip on here before. I'm pretty sure that this is something that Paul did just to mess with me while I was out. All right, I'm gonna have to switch over to a proper tip. Look at this, a conical tip can't even remove a basic short. Base, look at this. Piece of shit. You conical piece of garbage. Almost? I'm just being stubborn. I really should switch off of this shitty conical tip. Damn. Okay, finally. So we're going to see in a moment if that worked. All right, now all I need to do is get a new DCN cable, because that DCN cable is no good. I'm going to get myself an 821-1722. And if you ever needed a DCN cable for your MacBook and you weren't sure where to buy it at an everyday low price, head over to store.rossmangroup.com where you'll find things like that at an everyday low price. That's store.rossmangroup.com. If you were there at store.rossmangroup.com, you have a cable just like me. Now let's see if we get a light on our charger. Wow, look at that. We've got a light on the charger, meaning that PP3V42 is now making its way from the main board to the DC inboard. So the charger, in order to get a light, needs to speak to this SMC chip. The circuitry that allows the charger to talk to the SMC are going to be these two little chips over here on the DC inboard. And these two little chips in the DC inboard require PP3V42 in order to work. However, PP3V42 is created on the main board. It needs to make its way over to this board. And that's going to happen on the DC inboard where this little cable is. But it wasn't able to because it, it couldn't, there was no connection. It was broken. So we used our micro soldering pencil to solder that on there. And now it works. Now it's very difficult to solder these teeny tiny little pins. These pins that you could see over here are really, really small and very hard to get to. So we used a micro soldering pencil in order to get to those pins. And this micro soldering pencil can be found in the links below. This is a Hakko FM2032. While I think terribly of Hakko's hot air stations, I think highly of their micro soldering pencils. They're very nice, they're ergonomic, it's got a nice grip, it works very well. Again, they're hot air stations. Ugh, garbage, but the pencil, very, very good. And now this is all connected and working, and we were also able to use our Crest Ultrasonic Cleaner, the other item here that we shill at store.rossmangroup.com. This beautiful Crest Ultrasonic Cleaner. Clean the board in order to get the CPU to work, because in the beginning it was turning on without a light, but it also wasn't giving us any CPU usage. The CPU was drawing nothing. We were using 100 milliamps while the thing was turned on with a fan spinning. It wasn't giving us a picture on the screen, much less a backlight. No post, not doing anything. But the Crest made that all happen. And you can get a Crest on store.rossmangroup.com. 
You can get just about anything you want in this world on store.rossmangroup.com. And if it ain't there, there's probably no reason to want it. So that's it for today, and as always, I hope you learned something. With that, we move on to the next MacBook. I also want an iPhone 4. Don't even get me started with that shit. Where is my iPhone 4? I want an iPhone 4. Get the fuck out of my store. Where is my iPhone 4? I want an iPhone 4. Get the fuck out of my store. I also want an iPhone 4. Where is my iPhone 4? I want an iPhone 4. Get the fuck out of my store. I also want an iPhone 4. Where is my iPhone 4? I want an iPhone 4. Get the fuck out of my store. I also want an iPhone 4. Where is my iPhone 4? I want an iPhone 4. Get the fuck out of my store. Where is my iPhone 4? I want an iPhone 4. Get the fuck out of my store. Where is my iPhone 4? I want an iPhone 4. Get the fuck out of my store. Where is my iPhone 4? I want an iPhone 4. Get the fuck out of my store. Where is my iPhone 4? I want an iPhone 4. Get the fuck out of my store.